Hello, this is Professor Mark Higdon. Uh, this video is for FN 341. It is a basic introduction to Photoshop, really looking at Photoshop as how product developers may work with it. And specifically, uh, this is to walk you through how to create a simple flower design. Uh, for your semester project, you may want to create an original design. Um, and I'll show you how to do that here. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to recolor it. Um, so, if you would open up Photoshop, and you'll notice that the layout for the program is very similar to Adobe Illustrator. They're both made by Adobe. Uh, Photoshop was originally created to help photographers clean up digital photos, as well as um, it's a very textural design. It works with pixels, um, which can give you a lot of nice artistic texture. So it's great for illustrators, as well as for textile designers. Um, so we're going to create a very simple design. Um, if you would click on Create New, and I'm going to call this um, my flower one. If you would make sure you're working in inches, sometimes it defaults at pixels. You want to make sure you're working in inches. And because we're working and creating an all over design, um, I'm going to work in a square layout. So I have five inches by five inches. Under pixels uh, with resolution, it may default at 72. I would change this to 150, um, 72 dots per inch or pixels per inch. That's the resolution that you have on most photos that you download from the internet. Uh, since we want to create something that has a little bit more um, detail to it, I would bounce it, increase the number to 150. Make sure you're working in a color mode of red, green, blue. You can change that here if you need to. And I'm going to leave the background as white. So click Create. So we have our file here. If you would go to Window at the top of your file and come down to Layers, and just as we worked with Adobe Illustrator, uh, we have the option of working with different layers. So Photoshop typically defaults with this background layer, which is locked. I ignore this layer. So I'm going to create a second layer. Uh, so left click on that pull down menu, just like we did in Illustrator, and do new layer. And I'm going to call this ground. And click OK. So this will serve as the ground color for our little floral design. And then I'm going to create a third layer, which is, again, new layer. And this I'm going to name as flowers. Okay, That's the layer that we'll put our flowers on. Click OK. You'll notice one of the things that you cannot do in Photoshop that you could do in Illustrator is lock the layers. So just make sure uh, you're conscious of the layer that you're working. Now, we're going to make a very simple little flower. Um, so I want to make the center circle of the flower. I'll start with that. And rather than using this um, rectangle tool, which also has a circle tool, uh, it doesn't really allow us to uh, create a shape to color. I'm going to work with this marquee tool, which is the M key on your keypad. It's the second tool down left click and hold and just as in Illustrator there's some additional tools hidden underneath unfortunately we can't tear it off so if you can come down to the uh, circle or ellipse tool and select that and we'll make a circle in in this in on the workspace that will serve as the center of the flower if you hold down the shift key you can make a perfect circle just like we did in Illustrator Left click and drag, and you can make yourself a circle. Okay. Now, we're going to fill this uh, with a color. You could go to Window and open up Swatches. And there'll be some basic swatches that will come up. You can also click on Color. And you can select a color here if you want to change it. And What's different here in terms of the colors on the basic toolbox, in Illustrator, this was our fill and stroke. 
the left boxes they refer to as the foreground color and the right boxes serves as the background color. We're going to be conscious of working with the foreground color. That's the color that we're going to change. So I'm going to pick myself a pink and you'll notice that that changed the color on the foreground box. To fill that, I'll come up to the top and go to edit. Come down to fill. Make sure you're on the foreground color. Opacity is 100%, mode is normal, and click OK. So I've now filled the center of my flower with that color. To deselect the marquee tool, you can go to um, select, deselect, or the shortcut is Apple or Command D. Now I'm going to use the brush tool to make uh, the petals, uh, either a Mac, uh, or a, rather either a, a mouse is helpful in this, unless you're really good uh, working with the little pad on, the, on a laptop, I leave that up to you. The brush tool is the B key, so you can hit the B key um, on the keypad. You'll notice that the tool changes at the top of your work bar. To the right of it um, is a pull-down menu, which serves where you can change the brush, the type of brush that you're working with. So I'm going to um, work with the hard round. You can see that there's a variety of different brushes that you can fool around with. But I'm going to work with a hard round here, and I'm going to change the pixels to 30. Then I'm going to change the color for the inside of my flower. So I'm going to pick a yellow here. And you'll notice that changed the foreground color here. And I'm going to start attaching at the inside of the flower center. And I'll left click and drag and just make myself several little flower petals. Okay. But have it so that it touches the center. Now I'll pick a green to make the leaves. And again, I'm going to have that touch the flower. You can make a little line in the center if you want. OK, so I have a basic little flower design here. Now if you would come back up to the Marquee tool, this time work with the Rectangle Marquee tool. Drag a box around your flower that you just drew. I'm going to change the size to make it a little bit smaller so that I can repeat it a couple of times to create an all over design. So if you come to edit, come down to transform, which we worked with in Illustrator, works very similar. Do scale. And you can left click on one of these boxes and make it smaller. It actually conforms the size for you. In this case, you don't need to hold down the shift key. Once you get it to a size that you like, you can hit the enter or return key on your keypad and leave the uh, selection tool active on your flowers. Now come up to the move tool, which is the top tool on your toolbar. If you hold down the Alt key, just like we did in Illustrator, you'll see that the cursor turns into having a white shadow. This allows you to make a copy. So you can left click and drag. So I'm just going to repeat it a couple of times so that I have a, a little all over design. Um, and I'm going to deselect this. Now, rather than to have this as a two-way design, I'm going to turn one of these flowers so it is in another direction. So again, I'll come back to my marquee tool. I'll left click and drag a box around it. Come back up to the transform tool. Now I'll do a rotate. And I can actually rotate it so that it's turned in a little different direction from the other two flowers.
hit enter or return. If you wanted to move it while it's selected, come up to the move tool and you can actually shift it around. Okay. Then command D to deselect it and I have an all over design. Now I'm going to change the ground color rather than having it white. I'll make another color in the background. So click on the ground color come up to select all or command or Apple A and that will marquee all the way around the ground. Make sure you're on the ground layer. Don't select the flowers layer. You want to work on the ground layer. Pick yourself a color for the background. And it is a little confusing but you're actually going to use the color from the foreground box to fill the background color. Again, do Edit Fill. Use the foreground color, because that's this color here. Click OK, and you've created a colored background. If you hate it, you can change the color in the swatch box. Do Edit Fill again. Click OK, and you can change the color as much as you like until you get to the color that you like. Okay, once you're done, do a control D to deselect it. And let's do a file save. And I'll save this as my flower one. It will come as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document file, um, and save it to your desktop. So I'm going to end this video now. I'll create the second video, which will show you how to go back and change the colors. Thank you. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me.